I'm Hayden and this is my husband Aaron. We're on a mission to find the best vegan food in every country around the world. Come along today as we eat our way through the city of Antigua, Guatemala. Possibly some of the best food we've found in all of Central America. It looks incredible. Our first stop today is our favorite restaurant, Once Once. Today we are at Once Once, which is an all vegan restaurant that has the most incredible looking menu you've ever seen. So we have to come here like 87 times to try everything. But today we're here for brunch and we're trying our first cup of Guatemalan coffee. Guatemala is known for its coffee around the world. It's world renowned and specifically here in Antigua, it's supposed to be like a really big coffee culture. It tastes like coffee, it's actually kind of mild. We're not big coffee drinkers. In fact, we stopped drinking coffee a couple of years ago and we just drink tea. So, probably gonna be like really wired after this, but it's good, it's mild, I like it. We're starting off with our favorite brunch drinks, mimosas, and they're beautiful. Like, look at the toppings there. And it comes with, the, I'm assuming it's like mint or basil or something up there. Mm. Yeah, you get a little bit of that fruit flavor that you don't normally get in uh, mimosa. So it kind of just changes the flavor palette a little bit, but it's still really delicious, really fresh. The fruit in there is absolutely fresh. It's incredible. So excited about this. I ordered chili quiles with a mole sauce. <laughs> and it comes with like this bean turd looking thing, but it looks like just refried beans. Chili quiles are basically chips, tortilla chips, and they're topped with a sauce. And today mine came with what looks like a little bit of some kind of cheese, avocado, some cilantro, some red onions. <laughs> that mole sauce is incredible. I love mole, it's like a chocolate based sauce. And it's just like a big plate of chips and some sauce. I'm very excited about it. I decided to go with something a little bit different today and I ordered what looked to be the prettiest thing on the menu. And it's a crepes topped with hollandaise sauce and stuffed with like zucchini and onions and mushrooms. It's a little bit of a gamble for me because hollandaise sauce can tend to be mustardy, which is one of those flavors that I don't thoroughly love. But it looked so beautiful that I was like, let's just do it, let's get it. Let's not order the same thing I get every other time. So let's dive right into this. First of all, the hollandaise sauce isn't too mustardy. It's got this nice like cashew base to it. Um, definitely made with turmeric. That's it's giving that golden yellow color. A little bit of smoked paprika on there, which comes through really nicely. But that creep is just, it's super fluffy. And then it's packed full, like I said, with zucchini and onions and mushrooms and just this overwhelming like fresh, almost salad-like flavor that when combined with the hollandaise sauce is just it's incredible. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite things I've eaten in a long time. Ooh, God damn, that was good. I almost looked plate clean. But uh, this isn't the only incredible thing that they have here, so we're gonna bring you back for lunch or dinner. Since you've last seen us at brunch, we've literally eaten just about everything on the menu here. So today we're gonna show you some of our favorite dishes. And we're gonna start with the mac and cheese, which is smoked and comes with some really crispy tofu tenders. Mm. Those noodles are cooked perfectly and that smoky flavor comes right through the cheese and it's topped with a little paprika, which adds to that. This is really one of the best just mac and cheese dishes we've had in a long time. So the Alfredo dish is like a linguine Alfredo and it comes with like a cashew cream sauce. And then it comes with like these crispy little um, like tofu cutlets on top of it. But it is thick and creamy sauce. It has like a little hint of heat to it, like a little bit of a kick. It's got like some kind of pepper in the sauce, but just ever so slightly. So it just has like a really nice round flavor profile. It's got like a little bit of lime in there too. So it's like lime and creamy and a little bit of heat, but this is my favorite dish here, hands down. You can't be surprised that Buffalo Cauliflower made the list. If you've watched any of our videos, you know that's a no brainer for us to order it. So this, 
happens to be one of the best that we've had. So it comes with a cilantro ranch sauce to dip in, which, you know, kind of would put me off a little bit just because I have my issues with cilantro, but it actually is really refreshing and it goes really well with the buffalo. That breading is nice and crispy. Keeps, really keeps the cauliflower from being too squishy or mushy. And just a nice smooth in there. It's not really punchy, it's not really hot, but it's also tempered down a little bit by that ranch. And overall, just a phenomenal dish. You definitely shouldn't leave here without trying the creme brulee. It is absolutely incredible. They have a regular flavor and then they have a Mataculia um, passion fruit one as well. We prefer the original because you really get that like kind of burnt sugar taste and the fruit doesn't like overpower it. It's so good. It's got the nice like burnt crispy top and then it's like basically like a custard on the inside. It's all about that charred sugar flavor. Delicious. All I'm saying is Hands down, our favorite vegan food here in Antigua, so you should absolutely come here and eat your way through the whole menu like we did. Today we are at Wachuma, and it's all about the probiotics today, which my gut is very excited about. Starting off, they have a bunch of kombuchas and everything has kraut in it. So we're getting kraut wontons, croutons, and then like these beautiful veggie bowls. So it's gonna be like probably the healthiest meal we've eaten here so far. I'm excited about it. We're starting with the croutons and it's kraut and cheese inside of it with maybe some other things, I'm not really sure. And it comes with a little dip dip sauce. The dip is like really thick, almost maybe like a balsamic. That's delicious. Very crowdy in the best way possible. It's got like a nice thick crispy wonton and then the sauce, like a little kind of like a balsamic-ish sauce. I'm not mad. I am excited about this. I went with the Earth and Fire, which is a sweet potato and kale with like a yellow curry and a spicy sauce on top of like pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds. Looks incredible, looks beautiful. Can't wait to dig in. Ooh, that's spicy. Ooh. Immediately that curry is just forefront of flavor. Delicious. It's got a lot, pretty fair amount of heat in there, but the nice crunch of the seeds and the sesame and the, just the crispness of the kale. This is really good. I got something sweet and sour. I don't know, I just got distracted by sweet and sour. And I think it's tempeh and like a kale over basmati rice and it's got like mango and pineapple maybe. I don't know, a lot of flavors that don't sound like they should go together, but they are. We haven't had tempeh in so long. It's like gomasio on the top of it, which is pretty potent actually. I think mean, there's a peanut sauce on the tempeh. I need to like mix it up, but there's also kraut. It's all about probiotics here. It's pretty good. It needs to be mixed. and cauliflower 
And the Giosas, I think, actually have like paint in them. They're a little pink. They look very beautiful. They're definitely filled with beets. You get that really earthy flavor off of it, but super crispy on the bottom, paired well with the soy sauce. Uh, beets is about the only flavor I get out of there, so I don't know if that's the only thing, but very delicious. Now it's time for the cauliflower. Mm. Ooh. It starts off almost like a ponzu-y kind of a flavor, kind of that citrusy kind of, you know, the typical ponzu flavor. But then that sriracha just creeps in and just warms your entire mouth with that just nice sriracha heat. It's a little bit spicy. The cauliflower is per perfectly cooked. It's not too mushy. It's still got some texture. So overall, I think this is going to be a fantastic meal. mostly vegan restaurant and it's in this cute little courtyard with like a bunch of other little restaurants around so tonight we ordered some burgers they have beyond meat we did not order that but they do have it and we ordered seitan burgers and they got vegan cheese we've actually come here for lunch already which we did not film and we got tacos i got beyond meat tacos and they were delicious so can't wait to show you our food so we ordered a set of two empanadas and they come with vegan cheese and spinach but there's also like some other veggies in there and it comes with a chimichurri sauce and it looks incredible. Oh my god. That sauce. Oh my god. It's like really oniony. It's got a lot of flavor. A little hint of spice to it but just put a little bit on your empanada and that thing takes it to a whole new level. I'm excited about this. Mm. I'll have 27 more. I ordered one of their burgers and I got the seitan patty, but I got it on a black carbon like charcoal bun, which always looks great for the gram. Uh, but I got it topped with uh, spinach, jalapenos, uh, roasted peppers, vegan cheese, and there's one other thing that I've already forgotten, but anyway, it looks like it's gonna just be this massive, dripping, gooey burger that's gonna be a mess to eat. Probably delicious. That's precisely as messy as I expected it to be, but it is incredible. The seitan has like this really just smoky flavor, and then the jalapenos are super fresh. It's giving that like bright, crispy, hot, flavor to it but man this is gonna be gonna be a mess but it is delicious Samsara, which is a vegetarian restaurant with kind of like an Indian fusion kind of flair. It's not an Indian restaurant, but kind of that whole, you know, namaste vibe. And we're starting off with the samsara plate with or platter, which comes with croquetas, some baba ganoush, some hummus. I also got the sweet potato, avocado, and chipotle soup, which I don't normally get soups, but it was kind of like calling to me, so. I expected a little bit more heat there because of the chipotle, but the sweet potato is incredible. And the creaminess of that mixed with the avocado just gives it a really nice texture. The flavor's outstanding. So we have quinoa croquettes. And um, they look nice and fried, obviously. Mm. It's not a ton of flavor, but I'm gonna dip it in like some hummus. I think that'll make it better. This is like fresh, homemade, chunky hummus. Really good with the hummus. I got the Lao Tzu, which is looks like an Asian inspired dish. Uh, it's got some basmati rice with some soy sauce on it, but then it's got just a ton of vegetables like green peppers, broccoli, and topped with little peanuts, and some more sauce. So I have a feeling I'm gonna love it. I didn't expect there to be a curry flavor on there, probably because I read the menu in Spanish and didn't understand everything that was on there, but that flavor is really good. It, it is a little bit heavy on the curry side of things, so that kind of threw me for a loop, but this is delicious. 
The first word on the menu is curry. <laughs> Is it recording now? Recording now. Okay. Ready? So close to my face. I'm also so hungry. You know, you get to the point where like you don't eat for too long and then you feel sick and then the thought of eating makes you feel sick. That's where I'm at right now, but I think this is helping. That's up my alley, but not up your alley. We got this little like oat milk drink. It's pretty thin. I don't know if we're supposed to drink this or if we're supposed to put it in the coffee, but I put it in the coffee. I don't know. It's filled with mushrooms. Not my favorite, but I'll make do. It does come with mushrooms, but I eliminated those because I don't, I don't get down on mushrooms. Okay, so like can't scoop food to save my fucking life. ability to scoop things is just it's really ridiculous. I'm not really known for knowing what toppings are, but of course it's got champs. I'm gonna get me a little bite bite here. Vegetable crepe thing. I don't really know. 